Hello guys, welcome to something of everything. Hope you are doing well. In this session, we shall learn about nodes, beams, plates, and solids in state flow. Whenever you open or create a new model, you get this screen. The basic elements of state flow by which you can model a structure is nodes, members, plates. And when you want to analyze a solid element, you have to create the solids. So let us understand the nodes. Nodes are the basic points by which you can create members or elements. Every node has a single entity, a coordinate, and a number. Beams are the lines connecting to nodes. The beam shall have the property of two end coordinates, beam numbers, and its lengths. Plates will be three point plates or four point plates which will be connecting to three nodes or four nodes it will have thickness it will have area solids are four five six seven or eight node solids which you can use to analyze a solid element let us understand how to create each one of them in the analytical modeling tab workflow and geometry page you get this data entry table of nodes you just have to add the coordinate of the node to create the node. This is the first node that we have created. The node number is 1. The node's number you can see by pressing shift N. You, when you select the node, when you hover over the node, it will show you the node number. If you double click on the node, it will show you the properties of that node. This node's coordinates are 0, 0, 0. This way you can create another nodes. Let us say 100. Zero, zero. That is the node number 2. Then 0, zero 001. This is node 3. And 101. One. These are the four nodes as you can see. As you can see the number is here. The coordinates are here. When you go to geometry page and add beam, you can create the beam between two nodes. As you can see in geometry page, the bottom table is of beams. It shows the beam number, the start node and end node. Here you can get the property, length, etc. of that beam. If you select the beam, it will show the beam number. When you select the beam, it shows it in the red color. If you put your cursor on the beam, it shows the beam number. Green, red and blue marking. The green marking is the start point of the beam. The blue marking is end point of that beam let us create a new beam you can also you can also create beams by adding the node numbers here let us say from 4 to 2 a new beam has been created if you put your cursor selection with cursor over here it will show that 4 is the start node and 2 is the end node because green is being shown towards 4 and blue is being shown towards and this way you can judge which is the start point and which is the end point. It will be helpful for releasing the members and giving other specifications to the beams and to view the member forces and analysis results as to which is the start and which is the end point. If you see, you can create beams with midpoints, perpendicular, curve, etc. Let us create all the four beams and here. As you can see, whenever you draw a beam in graphical user interface, it gets created in the table. To show the beam numbers, you have to press Shift B. It shows this. This is beam 1, 2, 4 and 3. You can create beams with midpoints also. Midpoint of 3 and midpoint of 2. Let us put a node in between here. You can break this. You can break this beam by inserting the node at midpoint. We will learn about this in the next videos. You can create a perpendicular beam from here with the help of that command. As you can see, it shows a perpendicular intersection. You will need to select one node and you can create a perpendicular beam to the perpendicular coming members. This way you can create beams. You can create plates. Plates are the slabs we can say or an element which will take floor loads or shear walls these are the kind of plate elements 
you can create plate selecting the four nodes and four as you can see it shows a blue cyan line here if you click control 2 sorry control 3 it will show you that solid that shows that here is a plate created if you select four beams and create infill panel plate it will create the plate you can create triangular plate also by selecting just three nodes and you can add the new attributes to the new plates that been created whenever you create a new plate the default properties will be the one that you have selected here this way you can create the plates we will learn more about generating mesh and etc things in the future videos now let us go to solids let us just control z to delete the plates and beams so we have four nodes let us just translate it to a height we will learn about that also in the future videos so we have now eight nodes and you can create solids by four five six seven nodes let us create a solid by six nodes just select the six nodes that you want to create solids from as you can see you need to select sequentially as i have not selected sequentially the solid has been wrapped and not being seen perfectly when we create click on control 4 it shows us the rendered view of that solid this solid is not that good we will learn more about solids in the future videos thank you to so like share and subscribe the channel and yeah don't forget to share the channel to the like-minded so that we can be motivated more and more thank you